both myself and Tom Hardy find his own hands enigmatic. Here we are, both reading his hands. And actually, at first, I was a bit puzzled as to his little finger, his mercury finger, is permanently curled over like this. And you can see it here, look on his right hand again, it's curled over. And on his left hand, it's not so much curled over at all, only his right hand. And so I thought, oh, we do see it on his left here unconsciously. But then I read up that uh, Tom Hardy severed uh, a tendon in his right hand uh, with a kitchen knife. And so forevermore, his little finger is curled over like this. What this means unconsciously is that, I mean, if if this were an unconscious gesture, which it isn't, I mean, it is here in the left hand. This shows Tom Hardy is keeping a card close to his chest. There's an element about himself he doesn't want to reveal. He's uh, a very private and secretive person. Highly secretive. That's what that would uh, represent. This is the left hand. I know that it's only the right hand he's severed this tendon in. So with this particular gesture here, and it could just be, of course, you know, an image caught in the in that particular moment. It's not really, you know, I'm not going to take it as gospel. It 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 would mean that uh, there is a side to himself he doesn't want others knowing about. So let's do a, a quick kind of overview of the shape of the hands and fingers here. Venus is very well developed. This is certainly a person with a great capacity uh, to feel for others. And I think that there's, you know, Saturn kind of leans in towards Apollo. This shows, um, yeah, an appreciation for arts and that his career leans towards talents. That's kind of a given. But also when Apollo leans towards Saturn as well, this shows uh, consideration towards others. And that coincides with this warmth as well. I can appreciate this is not a very good image. What I do find interesting, though, is that the third phalanx of Apollo seems a bit weak here, especially when compared with Saturn. And what that tells me is that Tom Hardy has a complete disregard for um, taste. And that's to say that fashion, uh, textile shapes, colours, uh, and, and even um, you know, literal, physical uh, taste inside the mouth. I don't think Tom Hardy particularly cares one way or another. If it's food, it's there to be eaten. If it's clothes, they're there to be worn. There's a, a, a kind of a disdain for how this person carries his own appearance, and this is shown in this uh, kind of wasted third phalanx of Apollo. It's interesting, isn't it? Because notice how the the uh, first phalanx is just so enlarged. And this shows an appreciation for uh, the arts, for creativity, for natural beauty, and uh, for creating things with a finished, tangible uh, end result, a product at the end of it. And, you know, I, I think that goes hand in hand with uh, Tom Hardy kind of sculpting his own body, but also um, because we see here this angle of proficiency and that goes in line with someone who uh, enjoys order and routine, but also someone who is making movies as well, um, but likely someone who is good with his hands and enjoys a little bit of carpentry or something similar. The knot here seen in the second um, knuckle of Saturn shows a very sort of uh, mathematically analytical mind. This is quite a logical thinker. I think as well the overall length of this second phalanx uh, in Saturn shows a good understanding of money as well, um, a good head on his shoulders for the value of things, which contrasts in a way to this third phalanx of Apollo. Or does it perhaps Tom Hardy has a, a, his values right and everybody else has them a little bit wrong. That's probably how he sees the world as well a little bit. That 
actually most people are a bit ridiculous in their expectations and how they manage uh, living within their means. The Jupiter finger appears to be a good length here, especially when considering uh, where set the fingers are. It does just about reach the first uh, halfway mark of the first phalanx of Saturn. So that's pleasing. Apollo does appear to as well, and, and I can see that Apollo isn't completely straightened out here, and it probably would level off with, um, you know, be about level with Jupiter there. And that's one of the signs of fame. And it's also, it shows a person's um, ambitions, their egos are in check with their talents. In other words, they don't have an overinflated opinion of their own abilities and talents. They are aligned in that sense. And this is why it's one of the signs of fame in palmistry, one of my signs of fame in palmistry, because when a person uh, has an understanding as to their abilities of what they're capable of achieving, then uh, they're more likely to achieve them. Now, I have jumped the gun a little bit here because I've not even talked about the shape of this person's palm. It's got a very squarish feature overall to it. I mean, it's just about rectangle, but I feel overall this, I would say this is a square palm and short fingers. I would say Tom Hardy is an earth hand and that would make him practical, rational, dependable, reliable, uh, fact driven and logical. And again, someone who is, and this is what this coincides with here, um, they're very angular angle of proficiency and time someone who really relies and um, finds uh, security in routine and structure and order and as well I think this kind of coincides with um, law as well this idea that uh, when something isn't right, it needs to be set right, needs to be put in its right place. The people around him as well are no, are no exception. If Tom Hardy sees someone who is acting out of line, he will go out of his way. He'll step outside of his lane to put them back in theirs. I don't see Tom Hardy not doing that, actually. And going back to this second phalanx of Saturn here, the width and length of it shows a, a demand, a need for mental practicality. And that again, that word practicality sums up uh, the entirety of uh, the earth hand. And it's not to say that Tom Hardy is solely earth. There is a little bit of air going on here as well as fire. And when looking at Tom Hardy's nails here, they're quite wide as well. I wouldn't say they're long, but they're certainly wide. And this is a person, again, this kind of coincides with everything I've been saying. This is a dependable person, reliable, someone you want around in an emergency. And in an emergency, again, Tom Hardy will <laughs> step in and put things right. Actually, the, uh, the picture I'm getting here is this is your kind of natural born hero. And you can see that all fingers kind of just about lean towards Apollo. Jupiter leans in towards Saturn, and this is this decision-making and judgment and authority uh, leaning towards uh, the sense of right and wrong, consciousness. Um, yeah, a conscience. And Saturn, in turn, kind of leans towards Apollo, and this shows uh, outward uh, thinking of others' feelings and thinking um, about the outside world and what's important the bigger picture really it's not thinking inwards uh, and i think we would see that you know if if the thumb was you know very sort of high set um then we could kind of disregard this feature apollo leans towards uh, saturn and and the two as i've said when they do that this is a person who is very considerate of others um so you know the environment his natural world, his talents, his um, abilities are leaning towards his conscience. And so, and that's what that kind of means. That's what that represents. Mercury, though, is 
quite distant from the rest and this shows a desire to um uh to get away a bit of privacy uh freedom of isolation this man obviously values privacy and that's kind of a given really with any hollywood a-list actor the life and the headline start quite high up on the palm and that's a clear sign of high ambition the heart line has an incredible curve to it and this shows uh, an immense sort of capacity to love but also it shows um, a very conventional and traditional um, person in terms of how they receive and transmit their emotions and uh, his his physical needs as well are very sort of traditional as well. This is someone who is um, psychologically aroused by vis visual stimuli, whereas someone with a, a straighter heart line is more complex in terms of their um, emotional and uh, psychological arousal. The little finger is relatively straight. There's a, a gentle lean there. Again, this... A thickening of the second knuckle is uh, an appreciation for physical beauty. But this ever so slight sort of wilting of the mercury finger here shows actually diplomacy. Um, but also a strong persuader. And the tip of mercury is just a little bit pointed. At least that's how it shows in this image. And that shows an ability to articulate verbally as well. The lifeline swings out quite far away from Venus, the place of home and family and friendships, the familiar. And this shows this person isn't afraid to take bold steps, to step out into the world, to step out into the unknown, uh, to achieve and to strive. The fate line seen here is strong. The two strongest lines, I would say, on Tom Hardy's palms are the headline and the fate line and this to me shows that his mental faculties are his strongest feature again practical uh, mental practicality is his strength but also this fate line being so strong and being so straight and cutting through uh, the center of his palm like this shows actually that uh, for this person I don't think he's actually all that able to carve his own destiny. I think in a lot of respects, this is a person who uh, has had less say over how uh, things have happened to him in his life. This low set thumb here shows a bit of a humanitarian and it's also a sign of a book lover. And again, this sort of mental practicality and um, his mental faculties being his strongest um tom hardy is obviously a very multi-faceted individual you know uh, a lot of uh, aspects to this person's character uh, abilities and i i feel like there's he'll do a lot more yet i think there's more than just acting um ahead of him I think he'll utilise uh, the wealth that he's amassed uh, and put it to a good use at some point. There's a bit of a um, a philanthropist about him. It's, it's very tricky because I've not really gotten much clarity here from his hands. Um, so I'd like to, I'd like to get some clearer images really. It's unfortunate, but I feel like there's a bit of a, a leader here, uh, a pioneer of some sort in some way. This is certainly a leader um, by example. So I think we've a, a bit yet to see a bit more from Tom Hardy in terms of what he'll do with his life and, um, and where he'll go next at some point. The fate line does seem to suggest a similar course until the age of about 53-ish. After that time, who knows? So it'll be interesting to see uh, what more what more lies in store for Tom Hardy. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Sorry it was a bit uh, a bit vague, but as I say, 
you know, I can only do so much with what I've got. And sometimes when my images are really blurry, so too is my reading. So next time, I think I'll look at someone who has, I've got clearer images for. So let me know what your thoughts are. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.